morning. My name is Margo Beasley. I'm the marketing manager with HC Companies, formerly Myers Lawn and Garden, but you may know us best as Dylan ITML. I'm pleased to present to you today some of our new products uh, in the decorative category for Dylan ITML. Um, we have a number of new products I'll be showing you today, but before I dive right into them, I wanted to introduce to you a little bit about our design process and some of the work we do to help select which concepts we bring to market and specifically to help our IGC customers, the independent garden centers, differentiate themselves and high, um, offer products that their consumers will really like. <clears throat> so as I get into that, what we do is first we look at our market research. So we look at things like design trends. We do look at things like research of um, some consumers of high hanging baskets and planters, specifically what they look for and what influences their purchase decisions. So we might take influences such as color palettes, textures, and shapes that are in the world around the consumers that you're selling to that whether they know it or not are influencing their design, design choices. So our research shows that most of the consumers that buy hanging baskets and planters, they love to decorate with them. They love to place them either on their front patios as part of their display to the um, neighborhood or on their back patios as part of their own outdoor living experience, their living spaces. We've learned that they take some of the colors and looks that they have inside their home, they will ex take those to their exterior palettes as well. And they also want things that not only co complement their, their spaces, so their houses or their patio landscapes, but they also want things that will give, give them the opportunity for variety or a pop of color. So, so these are some of the things, you know, whether consumers realize it or not, they are influenced by some of these design trends that are happening all around them. They may see it in magazines. They may see it in pictures on social media of what their friends are doing. They may even see it in um, the stores that are around them. Like the big box stores will leverage this to um, offer a palette of color, everything from curtains and pillows to outdoor patio furniture to paint colors. They, they leverage these design trends and, and whether consumers realize it or not, they're being influenced by these looks, right? So this is one way that we can bring some of this research and extra knowledge to your benefit because it allows you to differentiate, but in a different way than the big box stores are doing. So the designs I'll be showing you today aren't available in the big box stores. They're not really promoting this, this look, but they are trend setting. They are, um, they are classic and they do complement styles and looks in the consumer's home. Also, most importantly, we recognize the fact that above all else, we're not selling a pot to the consumer, we're selling your plants to the consumer. So we want a product that is going to complement your plants, much like a picture frame complements a, a, a painting or a, or a ring setting complements a diamond, right? So we wanna make sure that the product itself is doing its best to give your plants its best setting. So we do that in ways because we are, as you possibly have guessed, looking at the rest of our booth, our history and our background is really in um, grower pots, right? So we've taken some of the best features from a grower pot and we've incorporated it into our decorative pots. So you'll see things, and I'll talk through as I, I introduce some of these concepts to you, you'll see things that we've incorporated into the designs to help the, the irrigation flow, you know, to help the plant stay its best, to maximize capacity in, in a pot, um, but that still gives you a nice design and a nice look. So what I'm saying is we triangulate all of these things to give you the best decorative options uh, available on the market today. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and launch into some of the new designs that we'll be introducing today. First up is our iCat series. Uh, you heard me mention earlier about looking at design trends. This iCat pattern is a very popular look it is something that has been uh, recurring over centuries as, as a look that started out in the textile industry back in China, and it has evolved into, um, into different looks, things like throw pillows, rugs, even like some of the different um, clothing and, and bags and stuff that people buy. So we feel it's, it's a trend that, that is a somewhat current but still a classic look. So what we've done is we've taken that pattern and we've used texture and paint 
to incorporate it onto a planter in such a way that it's not too bold and not too strong, but it gives you that opportunity to kind of give the consumer, you know, they may walk in and say, oh, I like that, but I don't know why. Or I've seen that before, but I'm not sure where. You know, it kind of gives them that extra, you know, hey, we the garden centers are on trend as well. So this product particularly looks really good with white flowers or with a, with a nice complementary um, offsetting color that, that really works well with this look. And as I mentioned before, some of the things we incorporate, you'll see the inside, you'll see the inside of this pot has a cap dish and drainage, high chimney drainage. We've incorporated into it, forgive me, this microphone forces me to put everything right next to my face. We've incorporated into it some high channels along the bottom that allow for nice drainage, allows free flow of the drainage. This is important, you know, if you're, you're growing your hanging baskets on the ground for the first you know, part of their lives. And certainly as you get into the planters, it becomes important as well uh, to make sure that the, the, as you irrigate these products that the water flows consistently. And we also offer the cap dish in there to allow the, um, the roots the opportunity to kind of dip down into the water reservoir that is created with the chimney the high chimney on the inside. So the cap dish kind of keeps them from sitting, sitting in the water and rotting. So, so this look is, is the uh, iCat look. What we have on the top here, um, we introduced some tag slot options to give you some ability to identify the product. Um, and we offer this product, this is a 1.6 gallon hanging basket. We offer in three colors. So this is the Robin Blue. And we have over here the Bark and the Black, I think this is the Black and White. So these are the three colors that we offer in the iCat series. And over here is the planter. This is a two and a half gallon planter, it's a 10 inch. This is also a really nice look and a nice compliment. One of the other things we've learned from our market research is, you know, consumers do like to, you know, um, purchase families of products. Um, and, and they like the opportunity to be able to coordinate, you know, maybe on their patios with a hanging and a planter as well. So we like to offer you guys the opportunity to, um, you know, sell these products in much the same way. So much of the concepts I'll be showing you today incorporate both a planter, a basket, and even a bowl on some of the families as well. So this is the iCat series. Next, I'll be introducing the bundled thatch. As we research market trends, we also see the um, opportunity to incorporate natural looks, organic looks, and natural materials. Now, that's always fun when you're working with plastic baskets, right? But we do like to incorporate and give the uh, inspiration of natural materials and to bring those into our painted pots. So what you see here is called the bundled thatch. Its inspiration, as you can see along the rim, is, is actually a, a thatched material as you look at it from the end. And as you see it along the sides, it's thatched material as you see them, the long strands. So we've incorporated a look with texture and paint to give this, this pattern. Sorry, I'm coming over here for this audience. This is our hanging basket in this design. This is a larger basket. This is a 12 inch, two gallon basket. Uh, it, it incorporates also the dish and hanger and our products are sold in cases with the dish and hanger included. So this also has that high chimney look and the, um, the channels on the bowl and on the planter that Trish will show you also are incorporated that I was referring to before. So it gives you many opportunities to keep your plants looking their best all the way through retail to the consumer's home. So the bundled thatch comes in four colors. I'm gonna work with my assistant here to show these. So we have four different colors we're offering and these are um, Related to the design trends that we're seeing, while we do like to offer opportunities for pops of color, we also recognize that consumers do tend to gravitate towards the more neutrals, earth tone colors. So what you see here are a black um, and a, what are we calling this one, dark fawn. And my assist, lovely assistant over here has a chocolate color as well as a taupe. So this incorporates both a painted and a non-painted look. So what this gives you is the opportunity to kind of make this design a little more subtle or to accentuate it to make it look a little more organic. So the paint actually brings out the texture a little bit and makes it, gives it a little bit of dimension. In this family, we are offering a 2.5 gallon, no, I beg your pardon, I think that's three gallon hang, um, planter, as well as the bowl and the hanging basket that I held up earlier. 
So this is the bundled thatch family. Okay. So next in the 12 inch series, I'm going to introduce um, a more classic shape. This we call the silhouette. Thank you very much. The silhouette is designed with a concrete texture look to it. So the silhouette has a more classic shape. Um, it's offering the ribs and the concrete look with the pitted as well as the paint to kind of give it, make it look a little more stone-like. Um, this is a really nice uh, shape, a nice profile that actually works well in most any environment. You know, this is a nice classic look. So we have this um, silhouette series in a family of three colors. So Trish has those over there. There's um, kind of a rose color, a graphite, and a olive green. And then we also offer this, op this product in a hanging basket, a planter, and a bowl. So this is our 12-inch series. And again, you know, the cap dish and the hanger are included in the, in the purchase price and in the, the, the case of 25 that we sell these in. So this is the Silhouette series. Next, I want to introduce to you something we've been working on. We like to innovate at the HC companies. You know, we are always looking for opportunities to bring new looks and new designs forward. And one of the things that we're, we're most proud of is that we, are, we, have, we have built the capacity to actually paint some of these products in the United States. So a lot of these products that you might see on the market today that are painted do, do, are imported from China. Um, and let me pause for a minute because although some of these concepts that I showed you today are imported from China, they are all in stock here in Ohio and in Griffin warehouses. So we certainly have those all here and available to you today. But we also want to be able to, sh to shorten that supply chain and be able to make it in our own backyard. So we've innovated and invested in the capability to actually paint these products in our plant in Middlefield, Ohio. So what I'm introducing to you today is our bundled, our bundled, our piece bamboo series. This is an item where we've innovated both the texture and the paint to actually be able to make this in Ohio. And it's, it's built and inspired to resemble a pieced bamboo. So if you can imagine like the cutting boards that you see made from the different types of wood where you pull them together and they're offering contrasting looks in one piece, that's, that's the style that this is, um, was the inspiration for this look. So we're offering this product, but we think this really represents an opportunity, especially for the independent garden centers, as more and more consumers are thinking about where the products that they buy are coming from, they're gravitating towards the independent garden centers because they're, they're shopping small, they're buying local, right? You see a lot more farmers markets opening up these days and getting way more popular. So this is an opportunity for the independent garden centers to say, look, grown here, made in the USA, you've got a whole package that gives you the opportunity to really push on this, this growing interest in making sure that we're sourcing locally, right? So this item has a show special on, and I haven't been talking pricing um, up until now, but this one you really wanna jump on while here at the show. Griffin has offered it at a significant discount from the retail price that they'll be offering it after the show. So this basket alone is 269 with the hanger and dish included with the show special. So this is your um, opportunity to really kind of give these a try, put them in your display center, and, and as you promote them as made in the USA or even made in Ohio, you might find that folks are you know, really gravitating towards that and gives you the opportunity to, to really differentiate yourself from the box stores. So this is the piece bamboo. This is a two gallon basket. We also have a three and a half gallon planter and two colors. We have, ah, I am holding it. <laughs> I'm looking around. <laughs> I have the um, rosewood color and the dark mahogany. So again, with the, with the trend of the earth tone, earth tone colors and with the inspiration of it being piece bamboo, we wanted to stick to the more warm neutrals. And I wanna show you how this looks, really looks fantastic planted up. as I break my display, there we go. Here's how it looks planted up. So even if the pattern feels to you a little strong, once you pair it with a nice solid color bloom, it actually is a nice uh, complimentary display. We did one of our focus groups, we market tested this in a, in a specific region in the United States. And, and we did um, just, just like a couple growers, we tested it all the way through as we were developing the process to paint 
and making sure we had the right formulas and everything. We did some market testing, but it was interesting because I attended a focus group, not one that we developed, but one that um, another grower had, had pulled together. And it just so happened that a, an individual in that focus group had seen this product somewhere and was looking for it. They're like, where can I find that, that, that look? She didn't know what to call it. She described it to a T. And I'm sitting in the audience going, yes. <laughs> we definitely have something memorable here. You know, it's something that is not in the big box stores and, and something that allows you to um, the opportunity to differentiate. So the other ways that we like to innovate at the HC companies is we want to look for ways to offer new looks and new textures without the added cost of a painted product. So my next series of products I'm going to introduce to you are decorative containers without the use of paint. So I don't know if many of you can see from where you're sitting, this is our shimmer product. What you see right here, we've incorporated a texture that actually reflects light in different ways. So I'm using light to kind of simulate what it would look like in the sunlight. This product really sparkles in the sunlight. Um, with a plant, compared with a plant, it's really a nice combination. And as you move around it, and my assistant's trying to do it without my help here, sorry about that. As you move around it, it actually changes. So there's some movement incorporated into this design. And as you can imagine it blowing in the wind or, or just you know, folks walking around it, you definitely get that buzzworthy effect. You know, the, the, the something worth talking about as you look at this product that it, that it sparkles in the sunlight and actually has some movement and look to it. So can you guys see that? Should I come closer? Good, good. You should really see it in the sunlight. This flashlight uh, really doesn't do it justice, but it's, it's really a nice look. So what we have here is our 11 inch, 1.6 gallon. Again, incorporating all the features that I talked about to make your plants as healthy as possible. We also have this item in, there's the bowl over here. We also offer this item in two colors in a planter style. So what I'm showing you here is a seven and a half inch, great gift size. Perfect size for, for folks to kind of pick up a, a nice gift for their mother or for a host for a dinner party. Um, we have this in a seven and a half inch, one gallon. And over here we have our 12 inch bowl, great for succulents or centerpieces. So they all incorporate that shimmer look. Um, again, it will, would be uh, multiple color or a uh, Sangria and black are the colors that we're offering in those two looks. So that is our, our shimmer product. Last, we have our more traditional standard texture, but in a new profile. This we call the wrapped. This was inspired by the look of, of textile or fabric that would actually be wrapped around a product. So we kind of gave it that, that look. Um, it incorporates bevels. bevels it's, beveled uh, segments all the way down to give you that look and it gives you a strong appearance of a new shape, a new type of profile. So this is also an 11 inch, 1.6 gallon size. Um, and right now we're only offering that in the hanging basket. So this gives you um, a number of different looks and uh, capabilities for yourself to differentiate the marketplace. And lastly, I want to, um, before I hand off, I have uh, another individual here that's going to show some of our products on the retail side. So we have some new products on the retail side and some eco-friendly solutions. So I encourage you to uh, stick around and hear um, the, the second half of our presentation on, on those products. But before I do, I just want to remind you that we also have, we have a number of products in our Eastwind category that are the more traditional painted. Um, these are not new necessarily, but they are ones that are tried and true. We have a lot of success in some of these, these containers and looks. Uh, what we have here is a product that we introduced two years ago that has a square bottom and a round top. Lots of soil capacity in this. This is our hanging basket. Um, this is in, we call this the gridstone, uh, gridstone in um, diamond dust. So we offer painted and textured looks to kind of give it a, a checkered appearance. We also offer that in a planter style. So this is the 12-inch series. This one's in olivine, which is kind of a green, green color. We have a cover pot, hanging basket, and this planter that you're looking at in this series. And we also offer both premium look and standard look paint series in our East Wind line. Our display is off to, the, to the, uh, your left over here on this, these circles. We have both the standard matte paint finishes, but then the more 
premium glossy looks. So depending on how you want to position your products in your stores, this gives you the opportunity to give you both types. So I encourage you to stop by and take a look at both of our displays. Uh, next, I'm going to introduce Tice. He is going to talk through some of our new products on the retail side, as well as eco-friendly solutions. Thanks for your time today. Thanks. Hey, guys. How many of you run a garden center? Hands up. A couple. And everyone else is a grower? All right. So I'm going to talk about a couple of things. The eco-friendly uh, core program and some of the options there on the grower side. And then, as well, some uh, decorative planters on retail. I keep the retail part fairly tight just to line it up. But what we're talking about with this program is taking the husk of a coconut and really working that vegetable and herb category. How many of you are seeing growth in your veggie and herb business? Okay, so anyone who isn't, you're missing the boat on this. That is the fastest growing opportunity that you have available to yourselves. And the sort of new age gardener is, is looking for that kind of product. So what you can do is take a core pot. Yeah, you can take a core pot veggie or herb and the the roots will literally burst through so you've now got something edible people want something natural when they're dealing with something edible and you're pairing that up with a pot that is biodegradable right that literally breaks down and starts feeding the plant because that's what this coconut fiber will do for them there's no transplant shock for you anymore at all right and the most important you're going to make more money and the reason you will make more money is because you're building all those benefits into the pot and into the marketing message that you're adding to it. And the consequence of that is that you may be paying 10 or 15 cents more for a pot, but you're gonna get yourself 50 cents or, or possibly even a dollar, depending on the size that you're looking at. So the marketing's really important, and what we've done to support you with that are some signage pieces. So this signage piece, which shows the actual pot and some of the benefits, is something you can order online. We have a brochure here. And all those signage pieces are orderable through FedEx very easily. Just go online, you pick what part you need, you can upload your logo even, no charge for doing that part, and then it will um, be delivered to your door in five or seven days. Now how broad are the options for this program? We can go right from a two and a quarter inch all the way to a one gallon. So with the one gallon, think about you know, a big tomato plant and what that, you know, the most popular fruit or vegetable, depending on what you want to call it, that's available. On the smaller ones, you know, you can do mini herbs and kind of focus on the kids market, but we've got everything in between. Every single pot fits into a tray. You can kind of see the tray pack there. And if you're thinking, okay, well, you know what, I see the pots, but I'm, and I'm gonna have the signage and it's still kind of confusing, my customer isn't gonna get the message. We have a solution for that as well or rather Griffin does. So what Griffin has done is they've taken that pot and they've come up with a couple of versions. One is a herb and one is a veggie version label that goes right on here. It's got all the message on there and you can order that at 660 per pack. Okay, and that's ready in the warehouse right now. So that's available year round. So if you're thinking, you know, I mean, it's a nice pitch, but I don't know, really know if this is gonna work. So get a case, go with the signage, Get it pre-labeled, you've now got all the tools, and try a case. Do not get rid of your plastic program. So you're gonna keep some veggies and herbs in your plastic program, and you're gonna add this program to it. And the reason is, if you don't do that, people don't see the features and benefits, and you can't charge for the features and benefits. So pair it together, and you'll see that premium. And watch who's buying it. Be very cognizant of who's buying it. It'll be a younger demographic. It's folks looking at kitchen gardening, you know, it's, it's, it's the people you want to cultivate to have the business in the future. So think about that. There's a brief catalog for you. The front page is just some testimonials and some science and all that other good stuff. The second page will show you all the other sizes. So we have the nine rounds. We also have three squares and we have three tray packs as well, which Margo is showing you. So, so they're all there. Again, every single uh, one of those pots fits in an HC tray. So you don't have to, the guesswork is all taken out, we've listed it right here, okay? If you wanted to go with a shrink wrap program, the volumes are much bigger, but after you do your test and go, wow, this is really working, we wanna do a rollout in our region, maybe you wanna partner with a grocery store, you want, it's nine months. 
So you'll have nine months in the, in the greenhouse. That's at the maximum. After that, what you're going to get is some of these fibers are going to come, come loose. Um, and you're going to see a larger build in terms of the root structure. None of that's a problem, right? You want it breaking down. You just don't want it breaking down so fast you've got trouble at retail, right? Or that the consumer goes, this is kind of shelf worn. You don't want that stuff. Uh, so shrink wrapping is an option. We will do the artwork no charge for you. Um, we do prototyping no charge, which means you can go to your retailer. Let's say you know, you're at Winn-Dixie and you want to go and do a pitch. You could do that, right? Or you want to try something in your area and just see what customers think. You can do that as well. There are some minimums. And then for labels, we have some different sizes. So if you just wanted to do, do a UPC or you wanted to do some clever artwork like we showed you, that's all an option as well. And on the back is the signage piece. So we've got a few of those extra here and they're all over here, okay? Just a quick thing on retail. Sorry, anyone have any questions? Give me a hard question, anybody? Okay, um, so this is the HC uh, grower booth. Right opposite the aisle is the entire retail assortment. There are two things to focus on on the retail side, and one is the entire seed starting range. So the sort of must-have product for this year, and again, if you're not, you know, if you're a grower, I'll keep it fairly tight. But this is a complete greenhouse. This is the most complete hydroponic greenhouse you can get that's small. So what that means is there are lights on top. You can see them in here, kind of two to a case. There's a heating mat at the bottom. We've got core pellets inside, which means you've got your media, right? You've got your dome with some special um, slots for ventilation, and you've got your tray. So it's absolutely everything you would want in a mini greenhouse, okay? And that is brand new for this year. The great thing about that is it's a really nice ring, and it's totally complete, okay? The other thing is, in seed starting, the reason most people fail when they fail, they think, is watering. They don't know how to water. They water too much. They water too little. It's all about the watering. So. We have a new self-watering kit. This has 35 core pellets with a, with a fertilizer charge, and then a tray and a dome, and then there's a wicking mat inside as well. So this makes seed starting really, really easy. You can be completely careless, except you still need to put the seeds in. If you're that careless, it's not gonna work. But if you put the seeds in, then this kit will do the work for you as well. The other thing we're seeing a lot of lift in are grow your own kits. So we're pairing the vegetables with the herbs, Seeds are already in there. You need the core media and a decorative planter. What, what would that look like? So we've got that here. So this is Marigold. So this actually has a removable handle. So there's a tabletop planter, a metal tabletop planter with the core disc and the Marigold seeds already in there. Or you can put it outside as a, a wall hanger. There's a drainage hole with a plug in there as well. These come in really nice PDQ display cartons. If you're thinking, okay, well, I'm a grower, think about this as a grower. I mean, you've got the seed, you've got the core disc. Yeah, it's a retail item, but you could still play with it. You know, get 12 and, 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 and sort of build them up. A Couple other things new on retail. Again, for the retail, just have a look over there. It's an easy walk to the new aisle. So this is the Mosaic Decorative Series. There are three colors and there are seven sizes. Okay, so again, you're looking much like Margot said, sort of incorporating the design, right? And on the grower side, just think about what plant you want to go with this. Because if you're selling a planter independently, or you're selling the plants independently, put the two together, you're going to make a heck of a lot more money. You're selling sexiness. So if you can put all that stuff together, right, and have get people really excited, oh, I got to have that in my house. If they can imagine that in their life, that's worth a lot more. So. So that series is the Mosaic Decorative Series. And then the other one that's new, Big Planters. So big planters are rocking. Why? Because you, you're going to somebody's front house and you see this massive, gorgeous plant, right? That's the first thing they're getting. It's part of your real estate, right? People spend all this money staging their house. That's what you're doing, except you're doing it every day. So think about the Big Planter Series. We've got a couple of sizes here, okay, and then a couple of colors. And then they're all over there, so you can have a quick look. But these are heavy, you know, here. That's heavy, and that's what you want. You want some gravitas, right? Plus, then people don't steal it, because it's heavy. So, all right? Anyway, have a look at those things, and if we can help in any way, there's a whole team. Everyone with a blue shirt in the booth will help you. 
The other people might help you, but they don't work there. Okay? Margo, I'll pass it back to you. All right. Thank you very much for your time.